2013 Warrior Games officially opened May 11th at the U.S. Olympic Training Center in Colorado Springs, Colorado. The ceremonies were highlighted by a march of the 260 wounded, ill, and injured service members and veterans who will compete in the fourth annual competition. With Prince Harry and Missy Franklin, U.S. Navy Lieutenant Brad Snyder, who competed at the 2012 Warrior Games before winning three medals at the London 2012 Paralympic Games, lit the cauldron to signify the start of the Games. The competition features seven adaptive sports, including wheelchair basketball, sitting volleyball, and a pentathlon event. Team Navy is sponsored by Navy Wounded Warrior Safe Harbor. The Navy team's going to do great. We've had um, some real success with our camps leading up to the program. Um, we, we were sponsored in our, um, in our selection process by Pack Fleet, so we had our selection camp in Hawaii. It was a great event, and uh, just being here, they're all winners. The team members have impairments ranging from upper body or lower body injuries to traumatic brain injuries and post-traumatic stress. Since fitness and teamwork are a way of life for the military, many wounded warriors say that it is not only the camaraderie from competing in adaptive sports, but the rivalries between services that make the games most exciting. So last night we played a scrimmage against the Army at Fort Carson, and so it, they would go U.S. Army, and so I started yelling Navy. So some of the people like Lauren started going Navy, and so they stopped. <laughs> they didn't do it anymore after that. The games will run through May 16th. To follow all the action of the Warrior Games, keep watching All Hands Update or log on to Navy.mil. From the Defense Media Activity, I'm Petty Officer Amara Timberlake.